It's day two of European Utility Week, and I'm here at the French Pavilion with Philippe from Grid Pocket. Now, Grid Pocket is based down on the Côte d'Azur, uh, where I hang out most of the time. Philippe, what's Grid Pocket up to? Well, Kevin, we are a specialized uh, editor of software for energy utilities. Okay. We provide the uh, customer experience platforms for utility companies uh, for electricity and gas. And what is the, let's say, the business value for the utility in this? Well, uh, as you know, the utilities market is undergoing major transitions. I mean, there is first the deregulation, so yep. they need to cope with the competition. Secondly, there are renewable energies, so you don't produce, you don't consume energy uh, as before. And finally, there is a digitalization of the old industry. Uh -huh. So there's a lot of changes for those companies to, to cope with. Now, the, you guys have a technology platform, the PowerVaz. What does this do for the utility? Well, this platform does three things. Uh, first of all, it enables them to comply with all the uh, regulatory matters. Okay. For example, for smart metering or for, for privacy. Smart metering data. Yeah, exactly. So they have everything they need to be compliant and to propose a great service for customers. Okay. But that's not enough. Then they need to build the future. And the future is about the customer experience. How do you make customers loyal? How do you reduce churn? This is the second part of our service. And then the final one is capturing new revenue. And the new revenues will come from the renewable production, okay. from electric car charging, from smart home. So we have all those pieces already integrated in our platform. And our utility customers can propose those services immediately to their end users, capturing this great new value. Ah, okay. Now, when we were chatting earlier, you made a great comment. You said the hardest thing in the smart grid is to automate customer behavior. Now you guys have some clever tricks that you've got awards for to do that. What, well, what do you do? Well, in fact, we have realized pretty soon that the weakest element of the smart grid is the end user. We cannot automate him like this, but we need the participation from end users yeah. in, in order to reduce the CO2 emissions and to change the way we, we use energy. Yeah. So we have developed a very unique offering called uh, Ecotrox. This okay. is a platform for uh, loyalty of uh, energy consumption. We make people loyal to consume less energy. And we make them consume less energy over a very long period of time. It's, I know it's a bit strange because... Uh, I've seen that you, you, you give people a green nudge, kind of yeah, encouraging them to do things. It's about nudging and, and gamification. And actually it works very well. But uh, I often get asked, like, why utilities would deploy this? I mean, their business is to sell more energy to the, Used to be. Uh, used to be, exactly. It's not the case any longer. Today I have the CEOs of, of utility companies saying to us, guys, we don't care if customers will use less, actually. We want our customers to be happy. We this want them to make change. savings. We want to uh, get new customers and we want to keep our customers. And this solution makes uh, utility happy because it reduces churn and it's a strong yeah. differentiating factor. They save money, they make money. It makes the end user very happy because it saves money. And it's good for the society because we reduce the overall CO2 emissions. No, I you know, but the, the, some of the algorithms you guys are using around the cognitive behavior and helping nudge people. Yes, that's, we, we that's, got pretty, the, yeah. that's pretty clever. Yes, thank you. We, our company has been co-founded by data scientists and specialists of human sociology. Um, so we worked a lot on e developing those it's algorithms. It's not just the technology, it's, it's the social aspect. It's, it's a lot of sociology. science behind, yes. Cool. Hey, I wish you guys well. Thank you very much. Thank you.